Right, so we thought we'd do this little video for you to show you about our Coleman collapsible oven that we've been using. It's absolutely brilliant. It does jacket potatoes, Nikki's baked bread in it, she's made numerous cakes. It's such a versatile little tiny piece of equipment. So we thought we'd show you how it all works. So it comes in a nice little tiny box. So we start off, just open the box up. It has a nice slatted shelf, a door with a thermostat on the front, so you can keep an eye on the temperature, mainly marked in um, Fahrenheit because it's an American item. It has got... Um, but there is Celsius marked on there. <clears throat> so we have two latches, one at the top which we open, Another one at the bottom which we open and it unfolds. Ta -da. The bottom piece is hinged and just slides down into the bottom. Once it's in there, we can then push our catch over to hold it in place. The top then lifts up and there are little tiny lugs mm. that the top fits into to hold it all in place and again that latch goes over to hold it in there. And if you don't locate these lugs at the side the um, shelf falls down. So spin it around to the front, twist the knob to open the door Right, the other useful item we've found to have with this oven is to stabilise the temperature inside is to put a pizza stone in the bottom of the oven which acts like a diffuser and keeps a more regular temperature within the oven. So these are quite cheap to buy on Amazon, e we got it Amazon, on Amazon. or eBay or wherever. Yeah. So that will fit inside and just drops into the bottom and then in goes the shelf. You've got three positions you can locate the shelf in. We normally do it in the middle. You just put it into one side, press it down into the other side and that's the shelf in place. It locates on the cooker we've got a two burner Coleman cooker which we found that you do it on the left hand side with the side taken down because the first time we used it we put it on the right hand side and it gets quite hot and this this knob started to melt so you need it away from the, the plastic of the knobs and you just light the flame underneath it and that's that. Right, uh, the other thing we did as a modification for the oven as well was made this um, heat blanket because we found, especially if you're outside and it's a bit windy, trying to maintain the heat inside can be a bit difficult. So went to Harbour Freight and bought a welding blanket from Harbour Freight, cut it up to size, sewed some press studs onto the material <coughs> so we could hold it all together so we've got press studs down the back to hold the back in place to the sides and a couple on the top just to hold the front in place and basically all you do is you put it on the cooker you set your flame going put the cover over it and in and a very short space of time it takes 20 minutes to heat it up to 350 degrees fahrenheit yep and it maintains the temperature lovely yeah and then you turn the you can turn the gas right right down and it maintains it quite well
what we tend to use, or what I tend to use for uh, baking are these silicone containers. They're light and bendable, squashable. Um, they, they, because they're so flexible, it's very. You have to main, make sure that you support the bottom, otherwise, you lose your half your dinner on the floor. Um, the other thing I will use are the aluminium disposable aluminium containers, um, and you can do quite a bit in there. Just the only problem is, is where it's not fan assisted or obviously not fan assisted or anything, stuff tends to burn in the bottom. But uh, I'll get there. We'll, we'll uh, keep trying. Just cut the bottom off the cake sometimes. But uh, yeah, it works really well. A really good little buy. Right, so this is how you dismantle the Coleman collapsible oven. First open the door. Slide out the shelf. We've already taken the stone out. I took the stone out earlier. Close the door. On the front here we have a little latch which holds the bottom, so we open that. And on the top we have another latch that holds the top in place, so we take that out. Top folds down inside. The bottom then folds up inside. The sides fold in. The latch goes back round to catch the lid in place at the top and at the bottom. That's the oven collapsed. Yesterday, Nikki made bread. So we have really good toast this morning. All the courtesy of our collapsible little oven. It was the first attempt and it's turned out so successful we're halfway through the loaf already. What do you think of it Nikki? Good? <laughs> well that's the cake out of the oven. Just waiting for it to cool down a bit and then we'll put some lemon juice on the top. Tony's going to use his lemon squeezer, lion squeezer. We tried putting icing on it but and we found that just squeezing lemon over it it's nice. gives it a nice tang to it. That and reducing the amount of sugar that goes in. We do like these lemon squeezers. They're very, very, very efficient. Get a lot of juice out. <laughs> You're going to put the other half yeah, on or not? Yeah, put the other half on. Yeah. yeah. Batch cooking today. Uh, lasagna on the right, ready to eat now. We're just waiting for the garlic bread, which is in the oven over there. And the one on the left is cooling down, ready to go in the freezer. We'll have it another day. Yum, 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 yum. Best carrot cake so far. Just cooked it in the oven, it's cooling down now. I'm just going to put some icing on it. <laughs>